Hi there. You're already familiar with this process. Here's a reminder of what is happening during cellular respiration. As you recall, the inputs or reactants of cellular respiration are glucose and oxygen. The outputs or products are carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So how do we get the reactants for cellular respiration? And where do the products go? Let's take a look at body systems. Especially these three. Let's take a closer look. The reactant glucose comes from the food we eat. When we eat, large molecules are broken down by the digestive system into glucose and other nutrients. The oxygen comes from the air we breathe. When you inhale, the oxygen travels through your respiratory system to your lungs, then diffuses into your blood vessels, which are part of the cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system delivers the reactants to cells throughout your body. The carbon dioxide produced during cellular respiration diffuses out of your cells and into your blood. It is carried to your lungs and you exhale it. Some of the water can be used in the body and some of it leaves the body in sweat and urine. We also know the energy released during cellular respiration is stored in ATP. ATP powers everything we do. Yoga, hiking, learning, biking, even taking a nap. ATP also powers important processes happening in our bodies that we can't see. The transfer of energy from the food we eat, ATP, happens with the help of body systems working together to deliver and transport the necessary inputs and outputs. Now you know! Cellular respiration is not the same as breathing, and you can't have one without the other. <laughs>